feels great to talk to you all again. Hope all of you are doing very well. And there are close to 50 more days for the gate exam. And hope all your preparations are going very well. Uh, the channel is kind of reaching close to 1000 subscribers. And we have this 2021 New Year. Finally, we are getting rid of this 2020 pathetic year. So I thought of celebrating, but all the 1000 odd students who are part of this channel. If you look at gate 2020, only 58 students qualified in the biomedical stream. So in 2021, getting a double digit all India rank, okay, a rank less than 100 would be a safe bet. In fact, a rank less than 50 would be safer, but at least a rank less than 100 would be a very safe bet. In this video, we are going to look at sensible, actionable strategies towards getting a double digit all India rank. And I also have a surprise gift for all the thousand students who, who are all part of this channel. Let's get started with the video. Is a double digit all India rank reasonable? I think it is certainly possible if your preparation is correct and if your strategy is correct. To give a simple analogy, in one of the Maniratnam movies, the hero will come across this girl during commute. The girl will be traveling in a train that's going on in the other side. So hero will be traveling this way, the girl will be going that way. And his friends would be skeptical saying that, you know, there is no way you could find that one girl among a population of 7 million. For that, our hero will correct them explaining that he is not actually, you know, searching for one girl out of 7 million, but he is actually looking for one girl out of 70 girls, okay? 70 girls who are doctors from a specific area. Of course, our hero finds the girl. The point is, if you kind of restrict the search space, okay, even double digit all India rank is very reasonable. There are simple preparation approaches, strategies to get that. So first of all, let's kind of get some idea on, you know, our real competitors, the students who are really competing with you and the common mistakes that students make each year, not just in biomedical, but usually in, you know, other strings. Turns out, you know, a majority of students apply for the examination as a formality. They fill up the form, they apply. Some of them just show up for the exam. They don't prepare anything. Of course, they are not going to get good ranks unless they have strong foundations. The second set of students, okay, they start very early. As soon as they go join biomedical in first year, they are like, how do I prepare for gate examination? Okay, they start contacting or uh, approaching mentors in LinkedIn or YouTube and all that. Many of these students, unfortunately, abruptly stop their preparations. Then we have this large class of students who kind of start the preparation very, very late. December is certainly late. Um, somewhere around November is also kind of late. Okay. At least three, four months before the gate exam. Okay. We need that much amount of time to give a nice performance in the exam. I hope you are not one of them. Just in case due to various reasons you started preparing late. I do have some tips for you. Then we have this large class of students who kind of start early. Okay. They have strong foundations from undergrad but they kind of get gradually stuck. They try to refer to 10 books for one subject, follow 10 YouTube channels, watch hundreds of hours of video, topic that is not, you know, highly weighted for gate biomedical paper. These class of students put hard work, but not smart work. They gradually, you know, they get stuck. A very, very small class of students do the right thing. That is, to actually practice for the exam okay by practice i mean reading a worked out example in a book is not practice okay watching a youtube video for theory or a solved gate example is not practice actually sitting and deriving the related formulae or plugging in the numbers and getting the final answer in the gate calculator that I would consider as practice and a very small class of students actually do that. So given that this class is very, very small, if they do one more thing, it's very likely that 
they will end up getting all India rank less than 100 and in fact less than 50. So let me explain that. Okay, the difference between the students who practice and who end up getting a nice rank is that these students deliberately practice. That is, practice with feedback in the sense that they identify where they make silly mistakes okay, and correct them. Then they find topics that they are weak in, then they improve the, those aspects in the syllabus. Then they find their strengths and then reinforce them. So these are typical aspects of deliberate practice, which is what is missing with, with students who just practice. Regarding deliberate practice, that is practice with feedback, channel has done many important things. First thing, we came up with a nice list of books and references that are useful for preparation, say 8 to 12 months before the gate exam. Second thing, we have a nice curated list of playlists for gate preparation, okay, which are useful if you start, say, preparation around 5 to 8 months before the exam. Uh, and then we had this nice video on practice resources and where to find questions, numerical questions, gate type questions and all that. This will be extremely useful say 3 to 5 months before the exam. And very recently we came across this important topics and common questions that show up in gate. Okay, That would be very useful to revise say around 2 to 3 months before the exam. So and the final piece of this deliberate practice is of course simulating the actual gate exam that is giving as many mock tests as possible. Interestingly for the gate paper, uh, we don't have many previous years question paper and some of us are waiting for IITB to release nice mock tests for biomedical students. Unfortunately, they ended up releasing this same old uh, 2020 biomedical paper. Having said that, I have close to eight mock tests for the gate biomedical exam, specifically designed for the 2021 paper and we have decided to give three of them as a new year's present. and in the rest of this video i'll explain how to actually give the mock tests and also where to find them first thing the pattern the paper has you know three types of questions mcqs nats and msqs which has been recently added msqs are relatively you know harder because you have to make a decision for each and every choice so get used to the type of questions that show up in gate and the way I, I designed this mock test is first thing based on my experience with teaching second thing i do use some sampling techniques to make sure the questions show up in the right way here is a breakup of the number of questions that showed up from different topics as well as the corresponding mocks so this roughly tells us which topic is important which topic is more weighted and all that here is what i would say is the right way to do the mock tests first thing is learn time management and second improve your accuracy so the best strategy is to get as many questions as accurately as possible usually students go for more number of questions you end up getting most of them wrong which is which is certainly not efficient one important thing you need to learn is to skip really hard ones. Okay, in test match cricket, even the best batsman in the world need to leave ba bad balls, balls that are wide outside the off stump. There are such questions, you know, about four to five such hard questions in the paper. So while going through the question serially or in whichever order you prefer, you should learn to identify them and you should certainly skip them. That will save you a lot of time and that will also fetch you a lot of mocks and ideally uh, you need to practice with the mock test you know with feedback that is uh, give the mock test identify silly mistakes that you have made and correct them okay identify weaknesses and improve them and identify your strengths and reinforce them okay if you do that that is the best way to you know deliberately practice that is you know practice with some focus and strategy and in the process of course by default you end up revising the syllabus and if it's necessary read of the test to improve your time management accuracy and all that couple of disclaimers and spoiler alerts the mock papers are slightly harder than actual gate exam okay 
uh, a good strategy would be this try to score you know as close to 30 in aptitude and math as possible then if you are strong in at least one subject okay one core biomedical sub subject you could get easily close to 35 okay or let's say if you are strong in two non biomedical subjects and if you are good at math and general aptitude again you could get you know close to 30 35 plus which is a cutoff as well as you know uh, previous year stoppers known as the gate 2020 students were like surprised to look at such a numerical uh, biomedical question paper because of that they felt the paper was very hard mock test one is essentially gate 2020 questions rephrased okay with numbers changed here and there and all that the diagnostic two covers some of the topics not covered in gate 2020 paper of course the topics that are there in the syllabus and diagnostic 3 covers more complementary topics topics that are not there in gate 2020 and diagnostic 1 and 2 diagnostic 3 is very hard okay i'll say that up front the point is once you give the three mock tests okay and once you get back to gate 2020 paper that should be very very easy okay if you deliberately practice properly here gate 2020 should be very very easy and hopefully you also find the gate 2021 paper easy or you know what was medium some students have already given some of these mock tests the highest mock you know is somewhere close to 60 out of 100 okay uh, some really good students score close to you know 45 or above 45 and i would say 35 30 35 plus is a decent score to start with uh, if it's less than 20 i would certainly be concerned but still i'll try to improve as much as possible um, but just math general aptitude and one subject you could cross 30 so try for that a very brief introduction to what the mock tests are how hard they are what mocks can you expect out of that and a simple strategy to work on that and improve it the mock test links are available below the tests are essentially google forms the forms will be closed after you know first february 2021 so essentially you have you know uh, about a month to try them the answer keys are provided along with the tests okay uh, so these are not just questions you also have answer keys with them uh, detailed solutions are not provided but if you take the test uh, if you complete it that is after taking the test if you submit your answers to me okay uh, I'll get an automated email I will also release your score in which you will find you know uh, tips to solve pretty much all of the questions the references from where those questions showed up uh, as many hints as possible all of that so it's up to you whether you want to submit submit your answers to me for feedback or not if you give it i'll release your form within a day or two uh, but one thing uh, there is so much to do and so little time we have okay uh, most of this forms this mock tests are self-explanatory and all that okay things will happen by default okay uh, if you treat me like you know a customer care service guy or a teaching assistant in that case uh, i will have to stop treating you as a student Essentially, I won't, uh, you know, I wouldn't have time to reply for your emails. That's the only detail. But other than that, I think we are good to go. So, let me again highlight. Uh, just like, you know, merely watching IPL is not practicing or preparing for IPL. Merely watching worked out solutions in YouTube or uh, reading at worked out examples in a book is not solving the problem. It's not good practice. I hope you don't do that. And uh, wish you all good luck with Gate 2021 exam. I'll see you with more useful videos. Hi! Fuck! Anil, Anil! Hey!